Let's do a little question and answer. Got to get this camera organized. Terrible at this, by the way. But we are going to do a little question and answer, and we are going to talk about making body transformations in 2024. All right. So... I'm going to set up my workout for today. I'm going to do some Nordic curls. Perfect. You will be hanging out with me, and here's the deal. Uh, we're going to talk about, so stay tuned, how to make a body transformation in 2024. It's not rocket science. It's not that hard. You just have to follow a couple of simple rules. So now that you're here, and stay tuned for that, by the way, because you will not want to miss this info. Uh, I'm going to work out. I'm doing Nordic curls today, uh, probably a 10 set of 10 complex of negatives. Uh, I'll get that done, and then I'll be done with the live. But uh, a couple of housekeeping things. Number one, get your supers in. Supers help me eat. Number two, subscribe. Click the bell. Turn your notifications on. You don't want to miss when I go live. Number three, I do answer questions on here. So if you have questions about working out, please ask and uh, the big guy will answer, all right? So on that note, uh, I'm going to start my uh, Nordic curls. I've got a Nordic curl bench here. I'm just going to go down kind of slow and then pop myself back up. I'm just kind of working negatives right now. Just easy negatives. Two, three, four, five. He's getting hard, actually. Six. Seven, eight, nine, one more to get ten, ten, perfect. All right, so here's the deal. You want to make, Jody, how are you? Day 12 really makes me happy that you stopped by and uh, alerted me to your progress. So Jody, uh, do me a favor, recap in the comments exactly what you're doing. If I remember, because it fits into what we're talking about today. If I remember correctly, it's what, 100 squats, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups every day in 2024, is that your goal? I know you're gonna do it as many days as you can. I don't know if your goal is a whole year. Don't know if it's 30 days straight. But I think that's what you're going for. And, and that brings me to my first point on getting fit in 2024. Here's the deal. So Jody, I am correct. Uh, 100 squats, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups every day. How long are you going to do that for? Let me know. Here's the deal, though, with getting fit in 2024. Don't let anyone fill your head with this. It's usually Mike Mentzer fans but that less is more. That you only have to work out 20 minutes three times a week. That you only have to work out 30 minutes four times a week. You're going to need more than that. If you really wanna transform your body, if you really wanna get fit, like you say you wanna get fit, if this is gonna be the year that you really go ahead and do this, you're going to, and I'm actually gonna do some pull-ups right now too, why not? you're going to have to do more work than that. You can't show up two or three or four times a week and expect a miracle to happen. You gotta just show up every single day, no lie. Now, a bunch of people will come in the comments. Let me actually get my pull-ups done for There we go, five pull-ups. Get a little piece of paper here. Because I will lose count. 
Got to get a piece of paper because I will lose count of what I'm doing. Here's the deal though. A lot of people, they'll come in the comments or they'll get in your ear and they'll talk to you about overtraining. How you can't possibly train every single day. That's BS. Overtraining is a myth. Now, can overtraining be a real scenario? Yes, but probably not for you. The people that are overtraining, they're doing a thousand hours a year of volume. A thousand hours. What does that look like? It's 18 hours a week without a week off. Actually, it's closer to 19 hours a week without a week off. That's what that looks like. That's not you. We're talking super high level athletes. So, you're probably not going to overtrain. Now, can you get some overuse injuries? Sure. If you're bench pressing every day, you can overuse your shoulder. But that's not overtraining. Your body can tolerate exercise every single day. Now, do I want you to go crazy hard every day? No, not necessarily. But you can always do something. You can always do some squats. You can always go for a walk. You can always do some push-ups. There's always something you can do to go for a swim. So you need to do something every single day. If you really want to make a transformation, stop looking to cut corners. All right? Just get your work in every single day. My son just walked in the garage. Jackson, can I help you? The white cake thing, yeah. You and Beto can have some, yeah. Okay. All right, he wanted a little treat, so I'll let him have a treat. He's been a good boy today. Anyway, you can do exercise every single day. You're gonna, you're gonna need to now. Why do I say that? A lot of people look at three times a week going to the gym as some type of badge of honor. If you hit three out of seven days, have you ever run the percentage on that? Do you know what that is? 42%. Congratulations, you've worked out 42% of your week. You put forth a 42% effort. You really think that's going to cut it? Listen, you're overweight. Your health's bad. You got ED. You got low T. You ain't sleeping right, all the things. And you really think the 42% effort is going to climb you out of that hole, huh? It ain't happening. So, you need to exercise every single day. There's no way around it. That's number one. And you probably have to work harder than you're working now. Like, here's the, the bottom line truth. If you look in the mirror, if you wake up and you're unsatisfied with your state of fitness, you got a gut that hangs over your pants. If you're suffering from low T, chances are it's because you don't work hard enough. You don't put in enough effort. You don't put in the right kind of effort. You eat way too much processed food. You drink way too much booze. Chances are it's 100% on you. Now, are there some people who have a real medical condition? Sure. But again, that's probably not you. I got that 10 of those. So just keep that in mind. Rachel. Great job, Jody. Thanks for the support, Rachel. Jody needs the support. Jody, by the way, 30 days, your short-term goal, then a new goal. Why have a new goal? Why not do it the whole year? Let me ask you that question. Why not? What would it hurt? I'm actually curious about that. What would it hurt if you just did it for a year? What would be the downside of that kind of effort? And for those of you that are just new, our young hero, Jody, is doing 100 squats, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups every day for 30 days. But why not for the year? What would that hurt? Okay, so you got to exercise every single day if you want to make a change, right? 
every single day you got to do something with it. That is step number one. And you'd be surprised if you can just do that. If you can just dedicate 30 to 40 minutes to yourself a day, every day, I think you would be surprised how easy your goals would come true. And I think you'd, you'd be surprised how much leeway you have with what you can eat, how much better you'll sleep, how much more energy you'll have, how much better you'll feel just by investing like 30 to 40 minutes a day. That's all you really got. So that is step one. Rachel Moran comes through with the super. I appreciate you. And this is your first super on a live stream, it says. So I'm your, I'm your first. That makes me happy. Thank you. I appreciate you. So you got to have some questions for me. And uh, I will answer because you gave me a super. And that makes me really, really happy. So thank you for that. Let me see here. Wish I could like, oh, there we go. You got a like, awesome. Anyway, any questions you got for me, Rachel? Happy to answer. Really, really appreciate the support. All right, but in the meantime, when you uh, load up your questions, here's the deal. Doing something every single day will give you a lot of leeway. And it all starts with exercise because if you're exercising every day, you're gonna to wanna to eat healthier, right? Like if I'm on the couch all day, and it's actually wild card weekend in the NFL coming up, but if I sit on my couch all day tomorrow, eat Doritos, drinks, I mean, I, back up a second. If I just sit on the couch in my own filth all day, I'm gonna to wanna to eat the Doritos, I'm gonna to wanna to eat the soda. But days that I go work out, I wanna eat healthy. Like I wanna eat cleaner. So eating almost, acts as regulator, right? Or not eating, working out almost acts as a regulator. If you are training, you're probably gonna eat healthier inherently. So it starts with training. So that's number one. Number two thing you're gonna do. So you're gonna exercise every single day. On days that, that you're not feeling that good, you can go easy, you can go for a walk, you can go for a swim, you can go for a bike ride. On days that you are uh, uh, feeling inhuman, like superhuman, you feel great, then crush it. Lift every weight under the sun. And that's how I would govern my day or govern my week or govern my month or govern my year. So, so the days you feel good, crush it. Days you don't, just go for a walk. But make yourself a commitment right now to do something. The, the best piece of advice that I can give you is that exercise goes into basic self-care. It's like brushing your teeth or having a shower. Now, now let me ask you another question. Uh, Jody, uh, Rachel, uh, you know other people who are in the audience right now? Your partner. Uh, actually, let me ask you a question. Jody, Rachel, are you guys married? Or in relationships? Give me a, give me a yes or a no because I actually got a great analogy for this. It's, it's really good and really, really telling, so. Let me know, are you married or are you in relationships? And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get my Nordic curls while I wait for you to answer my question. There we go. Ten of these. So, Jody, you are in a relationship. So let me ask you the follow-up question to that. Do you, this isn't a trick, do you want your partner to brush your teeth and shower every day, yes or no? Simple, do you want them to brush their teeth and shower every day, yes or no? Answer, and I'm waiting on you too, Rachel. Come on, live TV here. You gotta answer, it works better if you answer me. Okay, so Jody, you say obviously. I actually love that you said obviously. Because, now let me ask you another question. Do you want them to better themselves in some way? Work harder, make more money, 
be happier, uh, dress better. Uh, I mean, whatever, whatever that looks like. Do you want your partner to be at their best? Yes or no? That's a yes. So here's my question. Why wouldn't you want your partner to exercise every day? I'm not saying you don't. I'm just getting at a point. Why don't you want your partner to exercise every day? Because we live in a day and age where people, they, they, they fit shame you, right? Oh my God, you're so obsessed. You're going to work out again. Don't you want your partner to look their best? Don't you want your partner to feel their best? Like, isn't that important to you? And if I, let me see. So Rachel says she has a four-year-old son, kind of the same. I mean, yeah, it's kind of the same as having a partner. Probably a little more demanding, actually. It depends who you date. But, I mean, Rachel, even, even for your four-year-old, you want your four-year-old to brush your teeth every day? Shower? Yes. All those things, right? You want them to be at their best. So if you want that for your partner, why wouldn't you want it for yourself? Why wouldn't you want to be at your best? Why wouldn't you want to do something every single day to better yourself? To just put in 30 minutes. You know what we say to kids that they're inside all day? Go play. You need some physical activity. You've probably been there, Rachel, where your kid's bouncing off the walls and you're like, I don't know what to do with them. So you take them to the trampoline park or whatever, right? Um, but adults, we let that slide. I want my partner to be at her best. And, and I, I want to be at my best for me. So what I'm getting at here is you want your partner to look their best, feel their best. Uh, you want them to perform better in bed. You want them to have more energy, right? If you're, if you're with a guy, you don't want them to have ED, which can get caused by, by being overweight. So like my whole thing is why not put the energy and attention into exercising? It's just, and listen, it's not even exercise at this point. The reason I brought all these other things up is exercise for me falls into a category of basic self-care. That's all it is. It's just basic self-care. That's where it should go. Again, it's like brushing your teeth. I think, I think having a gut is as bad as a mouthful of cavities. And, and listen, I'm not, I'm not putting people who are overweight down. F fat people, they, they can be intelligent, they can be smart, they can be hardworking, but it's not healthy. It's not a good thing. It's like cavities in your teeth. Look at the death rates that are linked to obesity. It's a huge deal. So that's number one. Exercise. I want you, if you're watching this for the year 2024, to look at exercise as basic self-care. That's all it is. It's just basic self-care, okay? Got to do it every day. It's important. And if you get it done every day, you'll be healthier and happier. It's the number one way to transform your body in 2024. We're gonna cover three things today, by the way. Now, the number two way. You're gonna sleep eight hours a night. Sleeping eight hours a night is gonna do a couple things. One, you have more testosterone, more human growth hormone, more of all the good stuff. Number two, your batteries will recharge, so you have more energy in the day. If you have more energy in the day, it's easier to work out and easier to eat healthy. There's a huge correlation between lack of sleep, lack of physical activity, and then poor eating. So get some sleep, recharge your batteries. One of the ways that I teach this in my seminars is that the bed is the phone charger, you're the phone. If you leave the house with your phone, you forget to plug it in at night, it's on 10% charge, it's not gonna work well during the day. In fact, you're constantly looking for a charger, right? Because things are gonna shut down. 
you will shut down. If you leave on 100% charge, man, it's the greatest thing in the world. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. You are the phone, the bed is the phone charger. Charge yourself every night. Really, really super important, okay? So, sleep eight hours a night. A couple of sleep tips. Completely blacked out environment, that's important. The three, two, one rule. No food three hours before bed. No water two hours before bed. No screens one hour before bed. I'd also take some magnesium citrate. My favorite form of magnesium, but take some magnesium citrate before bed. Sleep like a baby. Do those two things to sleep. So that's the number two thing you're going to do to absolutely transform your body in 2024. There's one left. Take a guess what you think it is. Put it in the comments. And in the meantime, get your supers in. I need, actually, get me a super. I'm not going to reveal the last secret. See, I did that there with a great sales pitch, right? Give me a super in. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you know when I'm coming live. All right? And, and put a lot of comments in the comments because that boosts the engagement too. The algorithm likes that. So I don't know how many I've done. I'm supposed to do 10 sets of 10, but... Like, is anyone going to be counting? It could be a five, it could be an eight right now. I don't know. Nine. Ten. So, get your supers in. Questions in, comments, and I will reveal the last secret to transforming your body in 2024. Ivan asked, what training did you do today and what training did you do yesterday for hamstrings? Yesterday, I did 10 sets of 10 Nordic curls, just negatives. Today, uh, I did some bench press in the morning and uh, tonight I'm doing some more hamstrings and some uh, pull-ups, just 50 of them. I'm a little under the weather still, so I'm just kind of taking it easy. All right, the final secret to transforming your body in 2024, zero processed food. Get rid of it. Now you hear me talk about this 90-10 rule all the time. Now what's the 90-10 rule, you ask? 90-10 rule is 90% eating healthy, no processed food, 10% fun. But honestly, that's more for people who want to maintain. If you really want to make a change, if you're tired of your physique, if you're tired of your state of health, you should really be following the 98-2 rule, 99-1, 97-3. You probably need to buckle down a little bit. Trying to why it. Yes, processed food is awful. I'm starting to just trash it all good. That's really good to hear. Get rid of it. But if you really want to make a change, 100 zero is the way to go. No processed food now. What's my definition of process, okay? Here's the deal. To be able to eat it, and this is going to put it in real simple terms, you got to be able to murder it, and you got to be able to cook it on fire. Why do I add the stipulation you gotta be able to cook it on fire? Because here's what I don't want you doing, having fried chicken. Not fish sticks, right? That you can like cook in oil. That is processed stuff. What I want you to do is be able to cook it over fire. So your meats, write this down. Steak, chicken breast, chicken thigh, chicken legs are fine. Chicken wings, if you wanna smoke them on a tray or do them on a grill. Sushi, like a real salmon or tuna steak, big old pork chop, some real bacon or sausage is not treated with all the nitrates, chemicals and whatever, like real stuff. Those are your meats. Again, you gotta be able to kill the animal, make it over a fire, right? Butcher it yourself-ish kind of deal. 
Now, obviously, you're not going to do that. You're going to go to the grocery store, you're going to go to the butcher, but you can pretend. Now, for the other part of the equation, you got fruits and veggies and stuff like that. To be able to eat it, you have to be able to pluck it from a tree or a plant or the ground and eat it without any preparation at all. So let's go over what's okay and what's not okay. An apple. Answer in the comments. Can you pluck an apple off a tree and eat it? Yes or no? Let's go. Come on. The, the, the quicker you guys answer questions, the quicker I get through this. So an apple. Can you pluck from a tree and eat it? I'm waiting. You are slow today. You know? Hooey! How my abs look? Looking pretty good. I'm pretty lean. Doing okay for a 45 year old man. <coughs> I think someone might have wrote the apple question there. We'll see. Yep, Jody said apples. So, here's the deal. Yes, you can get an apple from a tree and eat it. What about a banana? Can you get a banana off a tree and eat it? Answer the question. Uh, Rachel, in the meantime, any supplement recommendations for recovery? Uh, if we're talking recovery from working out, uh, the number one thing I want you to do is protein. One gram of protein per pound of body weight a day. That is the key. Not easy to get through real food, right? Uh, but if you eat more steak, you have more eggs, you have more nuts, you should be able to get there. But if you can't, a really good, and this is my exception to processed food, a really good protein shake will help you. That's number one. Number two, fish oil. Fish oil is huge. Uh, and it's cheap. So I would certainly recommend a really good fish oil or a really good omega-3. Um, and then the third, that sleep supplement, magnesium citrate. You take some magnesium citrate, uh, you'll sleep better, which will enhance recovery. So for the people that were asking apples, yes, bananas, you can pluck that from a tree and eat it. An avocado, you could pluck it from a tree and eat it. What about bread? Can you eat bread? I mean, have you seen a bread tree or a bread plant? The answer is no, so no bread. I don't care if it's made from natural ingredients. If you can't pluck it off a tree and eat it in its natural state, you probably shouldn't be sticking it in your mouth, just to be clear. What about guacamole? That's a tricky one, right? Because like, if it's avocado and a lime and a habanero or jalapeno, like technically, they all come from trees. I would limit that though, to be honest with you, because you can't eat it in its natural state. And where people get in trouble, they won't eat a whole avocado, but they will eat nine avocados if it's a bowl of guacamole. So sometimes your body's not meant to eat that stuff in that quantity. Same thing with shakes. Like if you gotta put it in a blender to prepare it, you're probably gonna drink more calories than you need. Does that make sense to everybody? So I'm not necessarily staying away from that stuff 100%, but you really got to watch because it still is processed in some way. If you had that strict of a definition, I promise you, you would be absolutely 100% shredded. Like you'd be the most shredded person you know. So now let's adapt it again. The 90-10 rule. 90% of the foods you, have, you eat have to come from a tree or it's an animal and you have to eat it in its natural state. And then the other 10%, you can eat some mildly processed food, but it still has to have every ingredient in that food has to be able to be consumed in its natural state. So then guacamole, that can fall as part of your 10% for the 90-10 rule. Olive oil, that can fall at your 10, because you gotta press the olives, right? That can fall in your 10%. If you did that, Combined with the sleeping eight hours a night, combined with the 
the, the working out every day. In 90 days, you would be a different human being. It really is that easy. And you're, you're probably watching this and you're like, is he kidding me? Is that really what we tuned in for? That's the secret I've been looking for. Yes, but people don't want to tell you that. They want to sell you some like scam program filled with fake workouts and fake dietary advice. Stuff you don't need. And the world wants you to be sick. Like, let's be real. You go to the grocery store, it's all like soda and, and, and Doritos and stuff, right? So, it's just the way it is. So, that is your secret, the secret you've been looking for. No processed food, exercise every single day, sleep eight hours a night. And it's funny because I built my whole platform off this. I just want to be honest with people, like, it's all you really need to do. It's not that difficult, okay? So, here's the deal. I want to do more lives. I want to do 300 in 2024. I want to put more great content up on my YouTube. Love doing content. Love talking to your reel. Sometimes it's not the most produced stuff. I don't have the bandwidth for that. Like, listen, I'm a dad. I got three kids. I work out all the time. I don't have time to be sitting three hours in an baby making you fancy videos. So what you get from me is raw and real. But I promise you it's real. Again, that's the, that's the big thing. It's real fitness advice from a real guy. Guys never used a drug. Guys never used TRT. A guy that's done everything naturally. And I'll take a blood test anywhere, anytime I prove that. And I haven't, I've posted it. But real advice. And this is stuff you can follow. And notice, I work out two to three times a day. I'm obsessed. I got problems. I'm not telling you to do that. I also live my life as a professional athlete. So, like, I compete at high-level jiu-jitsu tournament still because I love it. I was on the Ultimate Fighter last year, oldest person in history to do it. Like, I'm not telling, but I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just telling you, give me a solid half hour every day. Go hard. Show up every day and go hard. Days you don't go hard, just still show up, right? Eat healthy and sleep. That's it. It's real advice. Not this nonsense. Like these guys on the internet are selling. You know? All right, so here's the deal, everyone. You got your advice, you stop by. I really, really appreciate that. Uh. Rachel, is milk or water going to be better for a protein shake? I've been using organic milk. Great question. Uh, I mean, it really depends, right? How many calories are you allowed? Like, if your goal is weight gain, I go milk because you need more calories and it's easier to drink them. If your goal is weight loss, you want to get shredded, I go with water. Because why drink the extra calories? Like, one of the things I always ask people is, what's going to make you feel more full? A glass of orange juice or an orange? The orange for sure. Glass of apple juice or an apple? The apple for sure. Um, uh, a glass of milk, which is like, what, 120 calories for whole milk? Or to have an actual banana or like 120 calories in chicken. Like, I... I Man, I'll go the water instead of the milk. And by the way, chicken, you get a lot more protein or an egg, a lot more protein from the block than you do the, the milk. So I would go water and fill up with real food. Unless you're trying to gain weight. Again, maybe Rachel, you're like, hey, I, I want to put on all the muscles. And uh, you, need more, you need more protein. You need more calories. In that, in that case, you can drink them. Does that make sense? Chana, thank you for the well wishes. I appreciate it. So you got your three secrets. We got some supers in, which is awesome. And anyway, listen, 
I want to go live more. The more supers you can give me, the more I can go live, the more I can do this, the more I can help you. Uh, for people that give me the supers, if you want to slide in my DMs on the IG uh, and tell me where you're from, hey, hey, it's, uh, I should got a guy named Miguel who does that. Miguel from, uh, he gives me supers all the time. Slides in the DMs, hey, it's Miguel from the YouTube Live. Hey, I got questions, I, I'm happy to help you. So Rachel, you wanna, you wanna do that, then great. Happy to help you. Uh, IG is by Maximus for everyone that doesn't know. Just remind me where you're from, remind me they gave you a super, then I'll probably remember. I remember all the people who give me supers, and I try to take care of them. So, uh, that's my message for today. Fitness in 2024, right? Who knew it would be this simple? Exercise every day, eat some healthy food, sleep eight hours a night. That's it. Love you all. Keep it real.